Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're going to catch some catfish on the Tennessee River. And we're also going to experience some extreme southern summer weather. Going from dense fog in the morning to extreme heat and thunderstorms later in the day. Folks, it is foggy, bad foggy, uh, and it's funny, drive in, clear as can be, it's just all those fogs laid in right here around the water. Uh, got GPS I could run down through here, but there's channel cans, they move, and there's these things they call barges that run up and down through here that I don't want to run into, anyway, I have to take it slow to get to my spot, it's a pretty good way, so. Life on the river. Man, it's bad. One of the channel cans there. There was like a stretch about a quarter of a mile where I could run and then I couldn't see anything. I'm just kind of running can to can right now. That right there is thick. The thing about driving in this stuff, if you don't have GPS or you can follow that line, you'll end up driving in a circle. As you can see, that fog was pretty dense, but finally I got to a point where there was a break. I could get the boat up on plane and make a run down the river to the first place that I was going to anchor up on. Got the first fish of the day, and I think I got the second fish. Ah, I pulled off that damn it. I was going to say this one went first. That one went bigger. They both went about the same time. Got down here, got anchored up on a point. My usual setup, deep water on one side, shallow on the other. And I got me a watch bar, blue cat. Trip by him. Oh, shizzle, my snizzle. Nice little fish, probably what the other one was too. Get them baits back in the water. See if we can get another one. I think I got one eating right there. Let's see if we can, see if we can drill a hook in his mouth. Boom! Hook him in the mouth. Hook him in the mouth, kayak fishing. Y'all check him out. Cool channel down in Florida. You don't just catch them, you hook them in the mouth. Hope y'all are doing good. A little slow fishing anchored up here on this point. Lost one, caught one, got another small one. Fish are coming off shallow so far. No big ones, but we take them. Man, there's some grass up there. Maybe that's why that are there in that grass feed. Got a bunch of grass on the line. Interesting. Look at all that. I wonder how much of that stuff's in there. Man, he coming in camouflaged. Look at him. Easy, open your mouth. There you go, good job. He got camo on. He got his camo on. <laughs> nice old blue. Second piece of grass I pulled out. I wonder if there's grass up there shallow. Could be. Well, I fished this spot for a couple hours and then decided that since there wasn't a whole lot of current, I was going to drag some baits around and see if I could hit a few fish in the head. All right, got a rod going off here. We got boom. Came off that anchored spot, went to dragging. Dragging probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Ain't had a bite. Out into the main river channel here. Just slow working it down through here. bit of current, not much. He's in that other line. I don't care how I try to stay out of it. He's gotten in it. He's easing down through here. Small. Smaller blue.
Small blue. At least we know the baits work. Get him back alive. That rod either has a fish or got hit good. Boom, he's there. Owned like Donkey Kong. Another small one. We found the fish. We just ain't found no slobber knockers. It's one of them days you can drive this boat where you want to. No wind. It's also hot. Poor old beat up channel cat. This has got to be the longest fish for the least amount of body weight I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, folks, I'm having to earn them today. Uh, they ain't coming easy. I put eight in the boat, nothing of any size. Trying to, I've got some big baits out, too. Uh, but it just ain't producing where I'm at. Uh, came in here to a little creek mouth to try something a little different than the main river channel. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. There's a little windy ditch that goes up through here at Shallow on all sides. There's some fish and bait in the ditch. So I'm kind of trolling out it. It's kind of a little windy thing out here. It's going to dump back into the river channel. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. I just got to be a fish on here. Line's all kinds of slack. I think it's just enjoying a free ride. I think it has outrun the boat. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Unreal. He knows he's hooked now. And will probably be upset with that. This is crazy. This is in front of the boat. Amazing. He's been on there for days. Oh, blue cat, what's bar? We found a little one. We can't find the big ones. Well, I've had two good days without any storms. I'm into my third and I've got some thunder rumbling in the distance. I have to keep an eye on that. It might bring uh, an end to this day quickly. I've been dragging out this creek for about 20 minutes and I think I finally got a fish. As Joe Jellison would say, fish on. That's Joe from Chat Cats, in case you're wondering. Another YouTuber, check out his channel. Subscribe, like he needs subscribers. Oh, he's got good stuff, he fishes up here in Tennessee. Been around Chickamauga, Nick and Jack, down in that area. Good stuff, good guy, I hung out with him at the Catfish Conference last year. You'll enjoy his channel. Bang. Another eater. Another eater. Number nine. We just need one big one. Just one big one. Just one big one. Thunder's rumbling in the distance. Hopefully, get a little more fishing in. We'll see. Well, I could hear the rumbling in the distance, and I knew there were some thunderstorms that were coming. Uh, I took a look at my radar app, and sure enough, some stuff was headed my way. I uh, had probably about 45 minutes, but uh, I also know how these storms can be out there on that side of the mountains, and uh, they can boil up quickly, so uh, those sails can expand very rapidly. So I decided to uh, get my stuff in, reel my rods in, and get out of there. But there was one more fish to catch. Man, reeling them in to leave. Even got the motor running. You can hear it in the background. It's letting it warm up. Reeling them in to dodge the storm and puff. Got a little one on, but it counts. 
it counts. I'm gonna end up having 12 fish. Amazing. But all small, just no eaters. Get him off of there. Turn it around, turn it around. Don't ever grab them when your fins are down. Get him off. There he is, folks. Another nice little eater size blue cat. Well, folks, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you see you can catch fish in the heat of the summer. Just have to dodge some of those thunderstorms and put up with the heat and lack of wind, but you can catch them. So uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, also uh, leave any comments below on your tips for catching fish in these hot, stale, stagnant, middle of summer, hot August day conditions. And if you like the channel, hit subscribe and also hit the little bell so you're notified when new videos come out. We look forward to seeing you on the water away from these thunderstorms.